We're going to simplify this secant minus cosine over secant and turn it into a single function uh, or a function of just sine and or cosine and that function will be squared. Let's go ahead and get started. Just rewriting secant minus cosine divided by secant. And what we're going to do is use the identity that secant is 1 over cosine. So secant is 1 over cos t. That's one of your reciprocal identities. And denominator, same thing. It's another secant. So from here, you have multi-story fraction, and we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. The numerator is two different terms added together, but the denominator is just a single term, 1 over cosine. So we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of that. So the reciprocal 1 over cosine is cosine over 1. Now we multiply this, we're distributing this fraction into both of these. So in the 1 over cos times cos over 1, that cancels out to 1. The second, uh, just the negative cosine t times cosine t is negative cos squared t. Now what to do next, this is supposed to look like some function of t squared, and right now it's 1 minus a function of t squared. So how are we going to turn this into a single uh, function of t squared, not 1 minus a function of t squared? Well, I see a cosine squared, and I know my Pythagorean identities. They all deal with uh, squared versions of the trig functions. So it's cos squared plus sine squared equals 1 and you want to solve for 1 minus cos squared. So you're going to subtract the cos squared to the other side, and then you can make this substitution.